and I got a late start today, but welcome to the show. I'm PT. This is PT Show to Stop 5, the latest entertainment news and gossip and all kind of mess going on up, up, up over here. I got celebrities back over there in the other room. I got a new setup today. I was running late, so I said, I just got to get this out. I got to get this out. But listen, I, before I go any further, I want to say hello to Lunell's family there in Arkansas. And uh, you heard me, Arkansas. <laughs> Lunell, you have a great time with your family. Tell everybody I said hello. All right. Uh, listen, also, Sassy, if you're out there, baby, we love you over here at PT Show. But stop by. I've not heard from you. I'm just kind of worried. If you get a chance, just text and say, I'm okay, bitch. Leave me alone. I'm just enjoying life or whatever. We just need to know where you are. Y'all don't realize I have a really, really close relationship with a lot of my subscribers. And when I don't hear from them, I get worried, okay? All right, here we go. Should I stop five number five? I'm going to talk about Lois Lane. Update on her, what actually happened to her. Should I stop five number two? Antonio Callaway, sit your ass down somewhere. An NFL football player, tell what this whore did. Show me stop five number three. Congratulations to Tamron Hall. And of course, show me stop five number three. R. Kelly's brother is talking and he's talking a lot of trash, honey. He's not keeping this one in the closet. And of course, the the one I really want to talk about today is this Nike sting that they had in Chicago. Ooh, I'm going to read the dog mess out of these damn police officers in Chicago. That's going to be fine. This is going to be about the lady who played a Superwoman back in the 70s and the 80s. Her name was Margot Kiter. <clears throat> you spell her name M-A-R-G-O-T-K-I-D-D-E-R. Well, <clears throat> you know, they found her in May 13th. They found her dead in her house. Um, and her daughter told the AP that she really wanted to get the truth out there and talked about her mom. She died from suicide and uh, drug overdose, you know, alcohol and, and drugs. And she just wanted to get it out there and let it be known what really happened so it wouldn't be a cloud over, you know, what had happened to her, uh, her mom's, <clears throat> her mom's uh, life. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the, the actress, she said that, uh, that her mom dealt with bipolar for years. She was only 69 years old, and it's just unfortunate that she took her life, you know, you know behind that. I just don't know, because when it comes to bipolar and stuff like that, that's a serious, serious issue, and a lot of people don't realize it, that it's very, very serious. And then when you put the alcohol with that and depression and all those kind of stuff, look what happened to Robin Williams, you know, just smart, intelligent young man. Remember Mark and Mindy, or Mindy and was it Mindy and Mark? Y'all remember that show a long time ago, and I must be telling my age, but that was a long time ago. Just a smart, smart individual. I think about Jim Carrey all the time, how smart he is. And just, you could be, some people could be so smart they just, just cuckoo in the head. Just smart and cuckoo at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's what happened to her. Again, like I said, Lois Lane, we loved her when she played in Superman. So um you want to read more up on that, you can go to your latest uh, blogs and check it out exactly what they talked about on there. Okay, that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, this football player, NFL football player by the name of uh, Antonio Callaway. Uh, around about, uh, see, it was August the 5th, what I was reading, and this happened around about 6 in the morning. They say it was a uh, in Strongville, Ohio. Shout out to all the people in Ohio. Just a routine traffic stop and pull the guy over. You know, of course, they smell weed and they searched the car and found that, that he had just a small amount of weed. You know, these days now, you know, they don't arrest you for that. And uh, he had a small amount of weed. <clears throat> and then it comes to find out that uh, there was um, some a Glock <clears throat> parts to a gun in the car and the police got nervous. All kind of stuff that was going on. You know, he asked him to you know, get on the side and put his hands up and ask him, was there a gun in the car? I'm just like, no, it's not. And da, 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 da. It just, this guy um, was, um, he was the fourth round pick for the 2018 NFL, NFL draft. And when I heard about this story, I said to myself and I asked myself, what do these people be thinking about? Here you are, the fourth round in the 2018 NFL draft. You run around here with your car smelling like weed. You got guns, which is not illegal to have, you know, parts of a gun in your car. But, you know, it, it just brings up suspicion. And then it also brings up a chance that you could have got shot and killed. <clears throat> of course, the police officer, once he found out who he was, was letting him know, oh, yeah, I know you are. I'm a fan and you're fast and all that kind of stuff. Had it been just a regular guy, he probably would have got killed. You know, I was, oh, God, I don't even want to get into this, but 
pissed off today when I heard about this young man who got killed there. Uh, was it up in Tennessee where the police officer, 25 years old. Here's this picture right here. You can't tell me that this man don't look like straight up like the Ku Klux Klan. <clears throat> look at him. Killed this man. 25 years old. Killed this black guy. They say the guy had a gun. But okay, if you're running away from the police, what does it, what's the purpose of shooting them somebody in the back? You know? What's the purpose of shooting them dead in the back? Anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> so Antonio could have been could have been him if he hadn't been a famous man. I just think that some of these football players, <clears throat> we won't say no names. <laughs> O.J. Simpson. You know, you just do all these things. It's like the incident with that Ray Carruth when he tried to kill his uh, baby, the baby, uh, the mother of the baby of his child, <clears throat> stuff like that. You just people just I think they get to a certain point where they just forget they're still human, and you make mistakes, and you got to be careful what you do and how you do it. Especially being us. You know, you just, you got to be careful. Now, the guy was arrested and all kinds of stuff. Now, what's going to happen? What's going to happen now? Even if he didn't have weed in the car, just the fact that they smelled weed and they had a little bit of weed in the car. What is going to happen? You're going to ruin your whole life. Your whole life. Listen, I'm not a smoker and I know it, it must be damn good because a lot of people smoke. And I ain't got no problem with weed. But... <clears throat> for you to do all the things that you worked hard for, your parents raised you, your mom or your dad raised you, or both of them raised you, to train you up to try to be a good child. You can't keep the weed at home. You can't smoke the weed at home. Don't you know you can't be running around with certain things in your car? It's just, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? You have to be... It, it, it's not even just an NFL football player, but then again, an NFL football player has a lot to lose because they're getting a lot of money. They're getting away a lot more money than you and I. So what are you thinking about? Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, anyway, I'll keep you guys um, posted on this Ant Antonio Galloway. You can find it on TMZ Sports and, and see the whole video. And It's just a big mess. Uh, they just He just needs to be careful. A lot of them need to be careful of what they're doing. And um, then he's sitting up there talking to the police officer. Well, I just got my car back. And I, I'm going to say it the N-word. You know damn when you smoking weed in your car. Oh, you're going to lose your whole career. That's what happened to Whitney Houston's uh, brother. If those who didn't go see the movie, yeah, he lost his whole NBA career behind drugs. Let's move on. Oh, this BT's punch is good today. Good and juicy. But listen, let's talk about Tamron Hall. I don't know if you guys know her or not, but here's her picture. I love, 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 love this woman. For those who don't like Wendy, here you go. She's coming up. She's been off at a, a daytime talk show. Um, she's developing this deal with um, Disney and ABC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember she left? Um, she left daytime TV back in 2017, and uh, she's built an audience, and a lot of people love her. I love her. I love her smile. I like the way she speaks. I like the way she dresses. Tamron Hall. I think she'll be great for daytime TV. Is she coming for Wendy? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I was told that they was replacing uh, not Rachel Ray. It's another lady. I can't think of her name, but I'll think of it in I'll think of it in a minute. But I was told that they was replacing her. But I don't know if this is true or not. But also speaking of Rachel Ray, child, did you get the dirt that um, you know there's some dog products that she promotes, and she says she'll even eat the food because it's so natural and it doesn't have anything in it. Well, there's a black guy who's suing the company because they said they found out that they've had all kind of mess. It's messing this food and it's not healthy and it's killing the dogs. It's a big lawsuit. He's asking for millions of dollars. So look it up and search it. Look it up and search it. Of course, you know, uh, Rachel Ray doesn't have anything, anything to do with it. But anyway, I, I'm probably going to talk on that tomorrow. But anyway, congratulations to Tamara Hall. Here she is right here. She says she's a beautiful woman and she definitely deserves a daytime talk show. All right, let's move on. Is R. Kelly still free? Is he still a free man? Well, you know, well, let's talk about this. He has a brother named Kerry Kelly. And, uh, you know, he's responding to this, uh, what, this 19-minute uh, I Admit song. And his brother is saying, you better shut up before I start talking. You know, he's pissed off. He's pissed off that he mentioned his brother, threw his brother up under the bus, or Kelly threw his brother, uh, Kerry, up under the bus. And he said, if you don't shut up, well, he did talk about how, you know, R. Kelly running around here, giving folks STDs, which we heard about that before. And then I heard something the other day. I was actually watching the video the other day with this lady. 
was saying that R. Kelly was gay. Now, I never heard that. I, I've never, never heard that. I know they, they said, well, being with a young girl is not a freak. That's nasty and unhealthy, okay? So just like I was reading, please cover your children's ears if you're watching this. I'll give you a couple of seconds. I was watching something the other day, and this man, this nasty, low-down dog, and the pregnant is an 11-year-old. What in the world? <sighs> well, they might was they might was don't have to give him the death penalty because he he's definitely gonna get the death penalty, baby. <laughs> so he get up into that prison, baby. He's out of there. Yeah, they might was go ahead and get some insurance on him and get just prepare for the funeral because he's out of there. Eleven year old black guy, impregnated an eleven year old girl. What what kind of nasty mess is that? Anyway, <clears throat> well, his brother pissed off and he said. R. Kelly doesn't care about the family. He said that R. Kelly left the family, and R. Kelly showed don't care about his mama because he said the mama's gravestone on it was five hundred five gravestone was just five hundred dollars. Mm, I don't know if I believe that or not, but this is what his brother's saying. This R. Kelly mess is gonna continue and continue and continue and continue. But we continue supporting and supporting and supporting R. Kelly. I'm not gonna lie, R. Kelly has some good damn music. Can you separate the music from him? Mm, I don't know. Maybe you can. And maybe I can't. I don't know. But I like his music. But I don't like what, what all these allegations are about R. Kelly. You know, again, they're just allegations. But a lot of people are coming up and saying it's true. Especially with the lady that was on YouTube saying that he was gay and had a boyfriend. What? You just don't never know. Mm. And R. Kelly is a brilliant man. And again, like I tell you, a lot of times it'd be these smart, smart people that do all this crazy, crazy stuff. You know? So anyway, I'll keep you guys informed on this. Uh, go to your latest uh, blogs and read the rest of the story about Kerry Kelly laying into his brother, R. Kelly. Let's move on. Okay, this is about Chicago. And I was going to talk about this the other day, but I said, nah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit. Plus, you know, my girl, Clarissa, you guys can follow her on YouTube, uh, Chicago Talk. And I really didn't want to talk about it because she lives in Chicago, so I was going to give it to her. Okay. Well, I was really upset. First of all, I've been pissed off about all the stuff that's going on um, in Chicago. You know, all the shootings. They had tons and tons of shootings this past weekend. And folks, it was crazy. It was just off the chain, killing after killing. And the saddest our own people. Mm, we got to do better, y'all. Okay? But so here we go. So here's the latest with Chi Town. So y'all going to tell me, Nike, you're going to set this big old truck up in the hood by a basketball court. And you're going to set an entrapment up for the kids to go in there and steal the shoes and you're going to arrest them. Hmm. Horrible. I know y'all heard about this. If you didn't hear about it, you need to Google it and look it up. But D.L. Hugel and myself and everybody else is pissed off. Why would you do that? Let me, let me send the Chicago police officers a message. Who's over the force? I don't know if it's a black man, purple man, green man, whoever. But let me read your ass right now. You're so busy trying to catch kids stealing. First of all... You said it's an entrapment. It's an entrapment. And you know what they're doing, y'all? You're setting this up. You're setting these kids up. And they're going over here. And they're they stealing this stuff out of this truck. And then you're giving them a record at a young age. It's a number of modern-day slavery. They ought to be shaming themselves. And anybody black that knew about this, I think I seen one black man that was in the picture with all them black people or the video. And y'all going to sit up there. And y'all going to sit up there and let these folks get away with this mess. When you need to be trying to concentrate and concentrating on what's going on in your city, why don't you put up a damn truck trying to catch these criminals running around shooting and killing one another instead of trying to catch these innocent little children and giving them something that they don't deserve? They don't deserve a, a, a record at their age. It's you and they in the hood. They don't have. Why don't you set up the damn truck and say, "Look, if you come over here and you show me that you're trying to do good in school or whatever, whatever, whatever." Now, look at all these celebrities that live in Chicago. Get together and pull that truck up and then get back to the community instead of trying to set these young kids up and then trap them. That's the, that ain't nothing but the devil, y'all. How could you do this to these kids? That's horrible. When somebody talk about, well, they need to learn not to steal. Shut up. I don't even want to hear that. I don't even want to hear that. Now, you know, I've been blessed as a young man to, to you know, I came up pretty, 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 pretty good. You know, I, I stole in my lifetime, but I never got caught. 
Yeah, a little stuff, a little stuff here, a little stuff there, but I ain't never went in the store and grabbed nothing, none of that kind of stuff, you know. But you, you cannot tell me that, that, that this is, this is straight entrapment. You don't go to the damn suburbs and do that. Because you don't have to, because they got it already. And my point is, these young black in you know, Hispanic or whoever, or even it might have been some white folks in the neighborhood. This is, a, this is more like a poor neighborhood. They don't have it. What do you expect them to do? Just, just like laying millions and millions of dollars around and around over here where I live, and you think I'm not going to pick it up? Yeah, because they need it. So instead of trying to hurt them, help them. Help, don't hurt them, help them. Put, treat them to some shoes. Nike, you ought to be shaming of yourself. Nike probably don't have nothing to do with this, but I hope when Nike get this, when they see this, I hope they, I hope that Nike goes back into that neighborhood and gives those kids those shoes. This is just unreal. I cannot believe it. I'm done with the show today. I'm BT with all the latest entertainment news. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And whatever you do, tell somebody about PT Show List Top 5. You guys take care. See y'all soon. You're amazing. I mean, you're amazing. I Catch up on my day here with your baby. Like it's an attack.